How awkward was that? <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Fenitax bringing you a kind of different video today. I thought that intro was really awkward. I mean, I was just like, I'm used to doing my Pokemon intro, but... Anyways, welcome to the Pokemon tag, or the Pokemon Fenitax wants to battle. Or something like that, it's a trend that's going around. And um, a lot of people are doing it, and I got called out by a few people. Um, I think the first person was Spector. I'm pretty sure his name was Spector. I'll put a link down below into his channel. Um, and then I got called out by a bunch of people. I think it was like a, a three or four people. That's fucking five. That's three or four or five people <laughs> that called me out. And I honestly can't remember the names um, of who did it because it was such a long time ago. So I finally thought I'd sit down. I finally thought I'd finally sit down and um, do this thing. So you guys, basically all the Pokemon tag is, or the Pokemon wants to battle, is for you guys to get to know us better as a person rather than a person that just sits here on the desk playing Pokemon and talking to the webcam like I'm doing right now but I'm answering questions yeah you see where I'm going with this anyways um, so we'll just jump straight into this I want to thank Spectre for going ahead and giving me that nice call out before in fact before we do this um, I'm gonna show you guys the thumbnail real quick if you've not already seen it which I'm pretty sure because you had to click on that to get onto this video but if somehow you never saw a thumbnail, look at the thumbnail right now. I want to go ahead and say a big, 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 big fucking... The biggest thank you to this person in the world. Her name is Mistress Valerie. And I'm going to put a link down below to her channel, her Twitter. She actually, out of the blue, she was listening to my Pet Girl of Sakurao Soon remix. And um, she just hits me up on Twitter and she's like, Yo, I absolutely love the remix. Um... I was listening to it and I drew up this and it's like the chibi little Masha Roshina icon that you can see on the thumbnail and I absolutely think it looks insane. How cute does she look? Honestly, I know that I've got all the Sheena fans on my channel and you guys absolutely love her but just look how cute she is so it would really mean a lot guys. It would really mean a lot if you could go over to her Twitter and just send her a simple message saying, you know, Christine sent me over here. Thank you for drawing that. I think it looks absolutely insane. Um, I really want to use this for a lot more videos. So if you guys could do that to me, I know it's asking for a lot, but if you guys could do that to me, it would really mean a lot. It seriously would. So anyways, back to this Pokemon battle wild, I don't know, whatever it is. Why are you called that is the first question. Well, my mum and dad decided on Christian because it was Christian Slater. No, I'm joking. Um, why am I called Finitax? Well, back in the days of the HD, the 720p on your screen, you know what we do. You know, a lot of people call me still Christian HD, which just every time I hear it just breaks my heart a little more. Uh, but back on Christian HD, before I made the channel, I had two choices. Do I go with Christian HD or do I go with Finitax? Considering that Umbreon was one of my favourite Pokemon and I used him for my mascot, I thought, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go with Christian HD. I thought I didn't really love the name Fenitax as much as I do now back then. So I made Christian HD because everyone refers to me as Christian rather than my actual Fenitax name. But that was back then. And a lot of people just kept calling me Christian due to Christian HD. And it's kind of just like, it doesn't matter what I could call myself. People would just still call me Christian at the end of the day. But um, I made Christian HD. And then I got to around 4K subscribers. And I was just hitting 5K actually. And... Um, you know, I was going through the fields, I was thinking, oh, I want to make a new channel, and I kind of just came to the conclusion that no matter how much you type in Christian HD, it will always come up with Jesus, or, or like, videos saying how to take down, how to, how to repair a HD monitor, or how to repair a HD television. It's like, shut the fuck up, I don't want to watch how to repair a HD television. I want to watch this guy play some Pokemon, not fucking pl fix a screen. You know what I mean? Awesome. I actually typed in HD, Christian HD once, and it came up with some fucking screen wash for a car. What the fuck? It's like, what could you possibly call HD? I think it was HD screen wash or some shit like that. And I was just... No. I was just going like this all night. So... After going through Christian HD on the channel with Jesus and every time you typed in Christian HD, also the, th the only thing, when you even typed in Christian HD Pokemon, you, you got the Jesus lock. Now, 
You don't know what the Jesus lock is? Look it up. Look, type in Christian HD Pokemon. It comes up with this fucking Jesus lock that some fucking crazy guy made up where Pokemon can't breed because they have to be married and fucking... Who the fuck wants to see that? I don't know, what the fuck, honestly. And it was crazy, so... I kind of just like bared it out a little and then I was really getting to the point where it was hard for me to gain subscribers due to the fact that it was Christian because when you typed in, you know, if someone said to you, oh, do you watch Christian HD's videos and he was like, no, no, I'll, I'll search him up, you know, I'm like fucking, oh yeah, you type it in and then you just get loads of Jesus shit and HD screen wash coming at you. And the only real, the wheel, the only real ways to find my channel was typing um, Christian. HD with two A's, so um, that was the only real reason, but if someone says to you, I, I do watch Christian HD, and then you tab him up, and then, you know, nothing comes up, and you're not going to spell Christian with two A's if you don't know that, are you? You're just going to type it in one A. But that was kind of the thing, so I went through just some fields, and I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to move to Fan Attacks, and with the support from you guys, and a lot of uh, my friends, you know, you watching the video right now, you've got me to where I am today on this brand new channel, so I can't thank you guys enough for that, which is absolutely insane, so you guys, you guys all deserve a round of applause, because that's absolutely incredible, so... The real reason why, because I've not even mentioned this, the real reason why I'm called Fan Attacks, is because the Pokemon Umbreon learns the move Faint Attacks, and now back, I think it got switched around in, I think it was Generation 4 or Generation 5, one of the two. Um, Faint Attacks, like spelling actually got changed around, it used to be F-A-I-N-T, and now it's F-E-I-N-T, and I really preferred the F-E-I-N-T, and um, for some strange reason I really liked it a lot more, and um, back then, when I made my Christian HD account, I goddamn wished, I seriously wished that I would have made a URL for this channel. Because I still not got me a URL yet. I've passed everything, man. I've passed everything. And you do this to me, you bitch. Anyways, I'm called Fenitax because Umbreon was my favourite Pokemon. He could learn Fenitax, and that's why I'm called Fenitax. Um, how old are you, and what are your first memories of Pokemon? I'm 20 years old, believe it or not. I know. It's, it's a shock. It's a shock. I've got no facial hair. People at the age of 16 have more facial hair than me. And that makes me cry inside. I honestly do. Um, what are you, uh, How old are you and you, what are your first memories of Pokemon? So I'm 20 years old. And um, my first memories of Pokemon is kind of Pokemon is it's kind of weird because I can remember playing Pokemon Yellow and my brother used to play Pokemon Blue like back when it first like came out. And we was I was playing Pokemon in his bedroom. Don't think anything weird, because I know it's the internet. Oh, we were playing Pokemon, you know, when we were little kids, we were playing Pokemon. That's all we were doing. God damn. <laughs> we were playing Pokemon, and um, I we was in the Sylph's Court, and I was playing Pokemon Yellow, he was playing Pokemon Blue, and we was in the Sylph's Court, and you know where you have to get the card key to get into um, the room where Nurse Joy is, where she heals your Pokemon up, and then you go battle Gary, and then the next Lord Giovanni's there. Um, we was looking around for the card key, and well, I spent like three hours looking around because at that stage my brain didn't fully develop, and I couldn't really think, you know, I couldn't really put my mind to the game of what I got to do. I was just playing the game. And you know the part where you like step on the teleporter thing and it takes you up? But you've got to like step on it. Uh, you go, I'm, I'm trying, I don't even know what I'm doing. You've got to step on it to go up, and then when you come back down, you can go down and around the corner and pick up the card key. Well, I didn't know that. And after spending all this time doing it, I finally did it, and I started, and I got the card key, and I run around the room, and I was like, Danny, Danny, I finally got the card key, and we was both so hyped, and it was so funny, and that's my earliest memory of Pokemon, and, um, I don't know, kind of spat my love for it. Um, what was your first Pokemon game? I kind of just answered that, Pokemon Yellow. Uh, well, number four, what does Pokemon mean to you? Pokemon fucking makes me breathe, I breathe for that shit. Well, every time I wake up in the morning, I think of Pokemon. Honestly, that's what puts me to sleep at night. <laughs> um, Pokemon to me is just a really fun, enjoyable game that I absolutely love to play on a daily basis. Um, I could, I don't know, I could branch out and say, you know, I could just give up playing Pokemon and I couldn't. I honestly couldn't. I absolutely love Pokemon. Um, sometimes, even when I'm chilling, I'll just listen to music. I'll just start up like a Pokemon Platinum Let's Play just by myself and just play through the game. Um, but Pokemon does mean a lot. It's not that, I honestly, you know, it's not something that I, like, I don't know, it's kind of weird to put it, um, you know, it doesn't go through my mind every single second of the day, it doesn't. I mean, it does when it comes to uploading videos and playing the game, 
I think about it a lot, and when we're talking about it, you know, when you get your Skype calls and you're talking about Wi-Fi battles and stuff, it does go through your mind constantly, but it doesn't go through my mind constantly every day. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love to upload Pokemon and play Pokemon, or I wouldn't be on my channel, I wouldn't be for Initax who I am right now, but Pokemon means a lot to me, I really love to play it, and I guess that's all it is to that. Um, why have you made this channel? So, I've already kind of answered this in the first question, which is why I call Fain Attacks. Um, uh, why have I made this channel to upload Pokemon? And um, the next question will expect it will explain a little more about this. So, I made the channel to upload Pokemon because I love to play Pokemon, and I met a bunch of friends. You know, I know a lot of people now on Twitter, and I'm so happy about that because about when I started, I knew nobody, and I felt like a fucking real, real, real loner. Because I knew no one, and now I know everybody, I'm so happy. Um, what can you expect? So, what can you expect on the channel is what's been happening for the, I don't know, last month? Or last year, if you want to call it like that, me playing Pokemon? Pokemon. And now, something that's been introduced to the channel, which is Nightcore, which you guys absolutely love. We dropped the Pet Girl of Sakurazu remix, and you guys went fucking ballistic. You absolutely loved that, and I can't thank you enough for that. And um, it was really nice to see all the comments. And you guys maybe put up another remix, which was absolutely insane. Even though it was an original song, just put into Nightcore mode. Um, you guys absolutely loved it. So I do plan on uploading a lot more Nightcore, because I really do love Nightcore music. And, um, you know, even when you just tweak the pitch and tone a little bit, sometimes songs can be, be made to sound so much better. And that's why I really like Nightcore music. Um, so, basically... I don't know, it's kind of weird, it is kind of weird. Um, what I really want to start uploading a lot more is obviously Nightcore and Pokemon Let's Plays. I'll just keep that regular as a thing because that's what I do. Um, but yeah, you can expect to see more Nightcore, you can expect to see more Pokemon Let's Plays, and I guess there's pretty much nothing else to talk about, so those are the six questions. I got there in the end. Those are the six questions. Um, I now go ahead and tag three people, I think I do. Um, I'm gonna tag... Shit, I should have thought about this before I made the video. Um, you guys aren't seeing me go on Twitter right now. Alright, so I'm gonna tag Game Boy Luke. I'm gonna tag Luke. Um, next person I'm gonna tag is Totsuke. Psycho fuck. I'm gonna tag Tursky. And the third person is I'm going to tag Skizza. I'm gonna tag you Skiz. So I don't know. You guys are gonna go ahead and do this Pokemon tag to keep the train going. Um if you did enjoy it, guys, be sure to go ahead and leave a comment. Be sure to answer all the questions as well. I'll put them down below in the description. Um let me know about all your stuff. I wanna thank you guys as well. Just take a quick minute just to thank you guys so much for the support. You've been giving the channel a lot recently. It's been absolutely insane and I can't thank you guys enough. Be sure to go ahead and check out uh, Miss Valorine Valerine as Twitter. Go ahead and drop a like drop a tweet saying thank you for making the um Thing. You know you know what? Go over there, drop her a tweet saying you did a really nice job. Christian says he absolutely loves it. You did a really nice job on the Sheena, because I absolutely love it. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. I've been Fanichax. Check out the Pokemon Vault White Let's Play down below in the description. With that being said, goodbye my friend. Boom! Oh, what the fuck was that? I don't know.